We are working on writing. So now we're going to read the next two pages of the wind. I got the paper right Of the wind power article. Keep it in your house, Thomas. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we're on page 45. And the... I am on the wrong page. I thought you said 46. 46, sorry. I was... Yeah. Okay. Are you going to promise yourself? Okay, we're on page 46. What do we see in this picture, Dylan? There's a windmill on the top of the house. There's a, this is a windmill that's on top of the house. Okay, Ledger? There is a car and the windmill looks different from other ones. This windmill looks different from the other ones, especially the ones that we looked at last time, right? Okay, Noah? Like it looks like there's a limo in the background. It looks like there's a limo over here, okay. Okay, who wants to read what it says right here in the white top left corner? Thomas? A wind turbine designed to provide electricity for a single home. Wow, okay, so it sounds like this one wind turbine can produce electricity for this entire home. Okay, that's let's, really pretty cool because they can sell all that air. Okay, let's continue reading to learn about. Personal wind turbines. Ready? Finger under wind. Sick. Uh, I was wondering what is this thing? We're going to learn about it quickly. Okay, finger under wind. Wind turbines can also create power on a smaller scale. Some wind turbines power only a single home. Imagine having your own windmill in the backyard or on the roof. But not every home is right for a personal turbine. Most personal turbines are in areas far from cities or towns. A person who installs a turbine for a home must live in an area with winds of at least 9 to 10 miles per hour for the turbine to generate enough electricity to be useful. A personal turbine can let homeowners be energy independent or add their own electricity to the electricity they buy. This can result in low electricity costs, or even none at all. For example, one homeowner in Southern California installed a 60-foot turbine and didn't have to pay an electricity bill for the next year. Oh, God. Okay, who can summarize what we just read about in paragraph 6? Dylan? Uh, we're learning about the, the turbine. We're learning about the personal wind turbine. Ledger? About like where you can have one. Where you can put it on your house. Noah? I can know that you want to have a personal wind turbine on your house. You want one? Yes, you want one. I do want one. I probably can't have one. Ariana? 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 Personal wind turbines are really good for, you know, saving Good. They're good for saving money. A lot of money. Because sometimes you don't even have to pay the electricity company because the wind turbine will make enough energy for... No cost. No, I'll close it for me. Yes. Okay, we have to wait till 11 30. Okay. Okay, now let's go on to page 47. Paragraph 7. Some windy problems. Ready? Finger under turbines. Yes, Ariana? Uh-huh. Okay. Shh. Turbines, ready? Some windy problems. Turbines do create one kind of pollution, noise pollution. People who live close to wind farms often complain about the noise the turbines make as they turn. And there are other problems with wind turbines. Wind isn't constant. It doesn't always blow, and sometimes it blows harder than other times. 
because of this, wind can't be counted on as our main source of energy. Often, the areas where turbines would be most efficient could be used in other ways, growing crops, for example. Some critics believe that wind turbines are ugly and ruin the landscape. Some and turbines have been responsible for the deaths of birds and bats that fly into them. Birds and bats. Those who build the turbines have to consider these problems and choose sites carefully. The wind industry has been working with environmental groups to reduce the damaging effect of turbines on wildlife and the environment. Once a turbine is built, the energy it produces costs very little. However, building the turbines is costly because the technology is still relatively new. That said, wind energy is a fast-growing business. By 2012, there were more than 46,000 wind turbines in the United States. The future of wind power in 2013, wind power in the United States created enough electricity to power a small city. It would take 14 nuclear power plants or 52 coal plants to make that much electricity. They are not here. Thank you. In 2009, wind power created less than 2% of the electricity used in the United States. But by 2014, that amount was greater than 5%. Some experts predict that by 2050, one-third of all of the world's electricity will come from the wind. Wind power has obviously come a long way since the days of grinding grain and pumping water. And while wind turbines can't be the only solution to our world's energy needs, they are one piece of a complex challenge that we all have an interest in facing up to and solving. The challenge of how we keep our society working. Okay, let's stop right there. Now, let's highlight on page 46. Okay, underline any vocabulary words or anything in the text that helps you define define um, wind turbines, wind power. And then highlight in blue how the power works. Okay, so personal wind turbines. What can we highlight that we can use to teach somebody else for how it works? What can we highlight for how it works? Ledger? Mm. How does the personal wind turbine work, Dylan? Uh, it spins around and it makes you the noises. Okay. And sometimes they get harder and harder. It's on a smaller scale. Noah? Mm -hmm. um, like, it powers your home. It powers your home. Okay, it powers your home how? Turbines power only a single home. So let's highlight that right here. Pencil, colored pencil, marker crayon. Thank you, Ariana. Right here. It's like the first and second sentence. On page 46. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. But not every home is right for the personal turbine. Most personal turbines are in the areas far from cities or towns. 
A person who installs a turbine for a home must live in an area with the winds of at least 9 to 10 miles per hour for the turbine to generate enough electricity to be useful. Okay, is that, should we highlight that for how it works? Thomas? What is needed to solar power? Solar power is another one, right? But solar power is not good for the environment. Um, it is pretty good, but it's very, 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 very expensive. Oh, God. Very expensive. And what's this? It's dangerous? I don't... No, I haven't read problems with solar power being dangerous. Okay, but focus back over here. We're focusing on wind power, okay? So let's talk about how the winds have to be how fast? Let's underline. Right? That's something important for somebody to know that you're going to teach them about. That where you live, the wind has to be 9 to 10 miles per hour. Or else it's never going to work. Do you need a pencil? Okay. Okay, anything else we need to highlight in paragraph 6 that we can use for how wind power works or how personal wind turbines work? Wind turbines. Anything else you think we're good? Nothing else? I think we're good. Okay. Let's go on to the next page. Okay, so next page on page 40. Thomas. Seven. We're on page 47 now, Dylan. Thomas, please stop. Please stop the tapping. Okay, on page 47, we're going to highlight problems, benefits, and problems, okay? Ariana. I have like 10,000 problems. 10,000 problems. Okay, what is one problem, Ariana? Uh, you can't even find that one. Shh, no one. You can't find that 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 one. Okay, some critics believe that wind turbines are ugly and ruin the landscape. That could be a problem for some people. Okay, highlight. Thomas? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You have to live in certain places. Ledger? It can kill bats and birds. It can kill bats and birds. Where is that one? Oh, this one right here. And turbines have been responsible for the deaths of birds, bats, birds and bats that fly into them. That's another problem. What's another problem in paragraph seven? Dylan. Um. Uh. Choose sites carefully to learn. It's right next for birds, deaths, and... But we're on paragraph 7. Oh. Paragraph 7. What's another problem in paragraph 7? Are you on? There's noise pollution. Okay, hold on. Dylan? Uh, kind of pollution. Noise pollution. So that means it's really noisy, right? Okay, so... Complain about the noise the turbines make when they turn, as they turn. Highlight that, please. It's just polluting your ears. It's just polluting your ears. What is polluting animals? Can I use the Okay. Any other problems that we found? Okay, highlight these quickly, and then we're going to move on to benefits. Benefits. 
Okay, Ariana, what's the benefit of wind turbines? First sentence, paragraph 8. Often the areas where turbines would be most efficient could be used in other ways, growing crops, for example. That's not a benefit, that's a problem. They're saying that instead of having like a wind farm, they should be having a prop farm. Let's highlight it. Does that make sense? Maybe they're wind farm. We can highlight it for a problem. Okay. And then it just blows all of the crops in the yeah, that's what Okay. Somebody get you a brain scan. Somebody get Both comments to yourself. Kind words. Okay, anything else? Dylan. Um. Nine? Nine? Yeah, we can go to nine. Uh, once a turbine is built, the energy it produces costs very little. However, building the turbines constantly because of the technology is so relatively new. Okay, so I what those two sentences that we just read sounds like a benefit and a problem. So the benefit is that the energy is a low cost. Highlight. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you, Ariana. Thank you, Thomas. And the problem is that to build the turbine is expensive. Kind of like the same thing with solar power. What is you can energy? build the solar panels on your home, and it costs but a lot. You, need the wire, all that stuff. you hire somebody to do it. You yeah, don't do it, it yourself. Saves you your and it saves you money on your electricity bill, but you're still paying off your solar power panels. Let's see. Okay, let's go scroll down to paragraph 10. Ready? Okay, paragraph 10, 11, and 12. So do we see any benefits? We have a lot of problems that we already highlighted. We need to highlight some benefits. So in 2013, wind power in the United States created enough electricity to power a small city. It would take 14 nuclear power plants or 52 coal plants to make that much electricity. That Ledger? Is, that's a benefit because we're using wind and not on Good. And that's a benefit. We're saving wind we're power saving. was able to power enough electricity for a whole small city. We're saving the and we're getting more electricity. Oh, I thought you were raising your hand. Oh, I got you guys. Okay. <laughs> 11. <laughs> Paragraph 11. In 2009, wind power created less than 2% of the electricity used in the United States. But by 2014, that amount was greater than 5%. Some experts predict that by 2050, one third of all of the world's electricity will come from the wind. And then they end up being just a point. Raise your hands. Still in? Um. Wait, do you already read this? Yeah. Uh, can I read the 12? Yeah, you can read 12. Alright. Uh, one power has obviously. Come a long way since the day of reading, grinding, 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 and chopping it down. Okay. And well, wind turbines can can be the only solution to our world's energy needs. They also have one pattern of an interest in facing up to the sound of the sound, however, it is our society working. Good. Okay, any benefits that we should highlight here? Monica, what's your comment, please? 
Any benefits that we should highlight here? Okay. Dylan, what should we highlight? Uh, the first one. Noah, what are you doing? First paragraph 12. Wind power has obviously come a long way since the days of Brandy Green and pumping water. Okay. So the benefit is that wind power is becoming more and more efficient. Thomas? If they're flying into them. I guess, yeah. Why can't we well, use maybe one day you can figure that out. Why can't we use the as energy? Okay, we're going to stop right here. We're going to finish this up tomorrow, okay? So make sure you get all of that highlighting done.